What's on YouTube? It's Pete TT back at it with another Assassin's Creed Origins video. Over the next couple of hours and days, guys, I want to bring you a few videos breaking down some of the basic features in game that are really important to you as a player and the progression of your character. This video will focus on the crafting system and how you can use this to improve your character, how it works, and some early on locations that are easily farmable for those crafting materials. So up first, let's look at the basics. Crafting is used to upgrade several pieces of your character's gear and can directly affect your survivability, your damage output, and your weapon ammo capacity. So let's pull up the gear tab and have a look then. We're going to move from left to right here, and as you can see, there are three slots on either side of this tab that are designated crafting. On the left, we have our quiver, our gloves, and an empty slot that requires us to progress further into the game to unlock. On the right hand side we have our brazier, our breastplate and again another empty slot that requires more progression in game to unlock. Now to break down the slots we currently have available, first the quiver. This increases your maximum arrow capacity and has a maximum of five upgrades. And as you can see, I have managed to upgrade mine now four times and I'm on to the final upgrade. Now, to actually upgrade your gear, you're going to require crafting materials and these come in several different forms. So if we hop on over to the inventory tab, you can see in the top left hand corner are resources. These consist of cedarwood, Bronze, soft leather, hard leather, pelt, iron, carbon crystal, and silica. Now, depending on what upgrade you are doing will depend on what and how many resources you will actually need. So as an example, my final quiver upgrade will require 30 bronze, 24 iron, and three carbon crystals. Whereas my brazier, which is earlier on in the upgrade path, only requires 16 hard leather and 24 cedar wood. Now you might be thinking, how can I get all of these materials? And I'm gonna tell you now, guys. So crafting resources can be acquired in various different ways. You can kill certain animal types for certain resources like soft and hard leather and pelts. You can raid boats and convoys for items like cedar wood and the various types of ores. And you can visit vendors like the Nomads Bazaar to uh, get the carbon crystals. Basically, there are many various ways to acquire the relevant crafting resources you will need to upgrade your gear. There is, however, one very handy tool at your disposal that makes finding these resources exceptionally easy, and that is your pet eagle, Senu. See, when you press up on the D-pad, you go into the control mode for Senu, and when in this mode, you can actually see all the nearby resources marked on your map. I will pull up some gameplay in the background showing this to you, and you will see various locations show up as to where you can acquire the materials. Now, from what I've experienced so far, these are indeed random, depending on your location and your surrounding area. For example, if you're in the middle of the desert, don't expect to find any hippos. But if you're by water, then you can expect to find lots of hippos and crocodiles. This also impacts like certain nests. So the hippo and crocodile's nests are obviously they're always going to be by the water. Whereas further out into the desert, you're more likely to find things like hyena and vultures nests. Now let's look at other crafting options then. So we know the quiver increases the amount of arrows you can carry, but the next one next to it, it's a cool little item and it can actually go hand in hand with your quiver and ranged weapons, and that is your glove. This increases your ranged weapons damage. Now personally, I'm on my fifth upgrade here, and I have to be honest, you really do notice the difference when you start upgrading your gear versus your weapons damage output. So I wouldn't sit on these upgrades, guys. Get them done as soon as you can. Now moving over to the other side then, we have our brazier, and this increases your melee damage. So again, in a similar fashion to the glove, this will increase your damage output. Then we have the breastplate. This increases your maximum health, thus increasing your survivability and makes taking on those tougher camps much easier. Now, as to what the two hidden slots are, I have no idea. I think the one on the left ends up being a hidden blade, but I have no idea what the one on the right will do. But 
Of course, I will update the video uh, later on down the line when I actually know more. Obviously, you know me, guys. I didn't want to ruin Assassin's Creed for myself. I don't. For every time there's a new Assassin's Creed out, I like to go into it blind, so I will find these things out as I go. If you guys know that it's cool, happy days. Please don't tell me in the comment section because I really don't want to know. I want to find out for myself. Now on to something I hope will help you all out, and that is where best to farm your crafting materials very early on in the game to get those upgrades nice and early. So the best place I've actually found right now is, uh, and I'm probably going to butcher this, Lake Mariotis region. I will show you where this is on the map now. And for this, you're going to want to be on the left-hand side of the lake. The reason for this is that you have a crocodile, vulture, and hippo nest all very close to each other. And on the path between them, you will frequently find deer and hyenas that will drop you soft leather. Then you have the lake itself. This is full of boats and other bits and pieces that will have all of the other resources you will need for the higher upgrades for your gear. But they are at a low level as this region is the second region you will come to on your playthrough. Now I farmed this for about 90 minutes and managed to get to 4 out of 5 upgrades on my quiver, 5 out of 10 upgrades on my glove, 4 out of 10 upgrades on my brazier, 8 out of 10 on my breastplate. So it is definitely a nice little area and it is definitely worthy of spending some time getting your crafting materials. Now hopefully this video helped you out if you didn't know how it all worked and wanted a bit of a breakdown then yeah I hope this video helped you. If it did drop a thumbs up let me know your thoughts and comments in this section down below. Subscribe to the channel as I have a ton of Assassin's Creed content coming your way. If there's anything in particular you you would like to see then again let me know in the comment section down below i will try to cover you know the videos uh, and the helpful guides that you all want to see earlier on and then you know cover other bits later down the line but for now guys that has been me thank you very much as always for watching and until the next one i'll catch you all soon